haven't done a part this far to the side in probably a decade. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Part of our world. Hey everyone, it's Jordan Faith. Here on my channel, I focus on all sorts of different wavy hair content. Today, I'm making my own colored hair gel again to show you how you can utilize this for Halloween or Disney bounding or cosplay. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. If you're excited for this video, make sure you click on the subscribe button now and let's go ahead and get started. I'm getting started with freshly washed, clean and wet hair and I'm just brushing through it to start to make sure it is still tangle free and to just get it ready to begin the styling process. I probably could have stood to make it a little bit more wet, but I didn't want to add that extra step this time, so my clumps will be a bit smaller because I wasn't consistently adding water, but I'm okay with that. First, I'll be using Cake the Curl Whip Mousse. I'm taking a generous amount of this and smoothing it between my hands and scrunching and pulsing it into all of my hair. This time I'll be applying that colored gel to damp hair a little bit later on. So I'm starting by using a mousse so that I have a little bit of styling product to hold everything together so it won't get too stringy or separated when I'm removing water before I use the colored gel. This mousse is a great choice for me because it is really easy to work with. I love the smell. It's not too heavy for my hair and it adds some really nice enhancement to my waves. Now that I've got a little bit of styling product, I've got my waves looking sort of how I want them to look. I'm going to use my perfect hair care towel to gently micro plop to remove some water from my hair. I just drape the towel over my hand scoop up my hair and gently squeeze to press out that water. And now it's time to make the gel. This time my base is going to be Aussie Instant Freeze Gel. I've got a generous amount in my bowl and I'm going to add the pigment to it. Today I'm going to be mixing some of this dark pink and some of this tangerine color to be able to achieve a more orangey red from what I already have. Again, you wanna make sure you're using cosmetic mica powder for this, the kind that you would use for homemade makeup, just for safety purposes because it is going to get on your skin. I'm going to mix this powder all the way into the gel so that it is completely combined. Some of you were asking to see me try this with a thicker gel, and this is one of my favorites, and it is quite thick. Of course, the powder is dry, so adding it to the gel thickens it up and it made this Aussie Instant Freeze Gel very, very thick. And I thought about adding water to it because I think a slightly thinner consistency would have worked better, but I wanted to see how it would go if I didn't alter it whatsoever. Just the gel and the pigment. I added quite a lot of the pigment so that it would be really deep and vibrant. And this is how it's looking. It doesn't have to be super even, but of course you probably don't want to miss big chunks of your hair if you want a more cohesive, colorful look. You could absolutely use this just for little highlights. That would definitely work and be beautiful. This is messy to apply, and I didn't realize until after I was finished that every time I swung my hair from side to side, my hair was getting the color on the walls and the door. So it was even messier than I anticipated, but it cleans up super easily. When you're applying this, you do want to make sure to focus on the areas that are going to be most seen. So I made sure that all along my crown had a good amount of color and my face framing layers and tried to get pretty good coverage in the back but I don't need to worry about that underneath layer of my hair too much because of course it's not going to get seen and any colored gel in that area is just going to rub off on my clothing anyway. One important thing about applying this gel is that you don't want to work it into the hair too much because that is going to lessen the color. So I'm not gonna pulse quite as much as I normally would throughout my scrunching and pulsing styling process. 
I am going to apply all of the gel in this little bowl and it probably was a bit more than I needed and since my clumps are small it's going to be harder to scrunch out later but that's sort of the fun part of these experiments kind of take your knowledge and take your risks and see how it turns out I'm going to quickly clean up my very very messy hands and the messy wall and like I said this washes off super easily. I cleaned it off my wall and off my hands with no issue, and then I moved on to the diffusing process. I hover diffused for the first 10-ish minutes, and then I pixie diffused, and this really helps set that cast around the hair so that when you're actually touching the hair with your diffuser, you're not removing the colored gel. You can check out my diffusing video up in the corner and down in the description for a more thorough explanation of those diffusing techniques. Overall, I diffused for about 20 minutes like I typically do and I let it air dry the rest of the way. When you have a very strong cast on really small little clumps like I do here, it can be really helpful to use a satin or silk fabric over your hands while you're scrunching because this allows you to be a little bit more aggressive with it without breaking up your definition. This also is really helpful when you're using a colored gel because although some will flake off on the fabric, the oils of your hands aren't going to grab more of it so it will take less off of your hair. After finally decrunchifying all of my hair, I am going to do a really good root fluff. And this is how it's looking after freshly being scrunched out. The color is really vibrant. It is a little bit streaky, but I still think it looks great. And next I'll be putting on my full outfit to show you the entire finished look. These are the final results. I think it looks pretty good. It definitely added color to my hair. It's not as vibrant as I had hoped for, but it certainly shows up. This is actually several hours after I fluffed it, so I imagine it would hold up pretty well if you were doing it, say, for a Halloween party. My hair does feel a little bit dry, but it's not too bad. I do have some more issues with flaking and just big chunks of the color gel on my hair this time. I think that's because the gel I used after adding the mica this time got really, really thick. I probably should have thinned it out with some water, but if you have a thinner gel, I would just use a thinner gel like I did the first time. You might be able to tell by the massive side part and little flounder in the background, but I decided to do an aerial themed outfit for this video. I'm so excited for the new movie. Just like last time, it is kind of rubbing off on anything that it touches, and if it gets wet at all, it will come off. This of course is just a simple and relatively inexpensive way to add very temporary color to your hair. It's not really meant for longevity, but I am gonna show you how it holds up on day two. Day two update, this is how it's looking. I'm surprised with how much color is still on my hair. It definitely stayed on better than when I used the light hold gel in the first video when I did purple but it is a lot streakier. I'm not sure how well the camera is picking it up, but there's like little chunks of the gel where it coated my hair strands, and so it's a little bit patchier looking than last time. And it is flaking off, but it's not staining anything. It just wipes right off or washes right off. So that's not really a big deal to me. Like I said, this isn't really meant for longevity, but it did hold up pretty well. My hair feels just about the same that it did yesterday, just a little bit less stiff, which is really good because a lot of times if you're using something that makes your hair feel a little dried out, it will get worse as the days go on. And that doesn't seem to be the case for this with my hair at least. It didn't stay quite as vibrant. Of course, my hair got a little bit frizzy overnight, but overall, I'm happy with how it held up. Just a reminder that I sleep with my hair loose just draped up over my pillow, which I cover with a satin scarf. And all day today, I've been wearing my hair up in a claw clip. I hope this second day update was helpful. I know a lot of you like seeing how it held up till the next day. Back to day one.
Obviously, I'm not in full costume, but I thought this outfit going with her general vibe and color scheme was really cute and I figured it was a good excuse to tie into this video. I can't tell if the purple showed up better than the red today. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, you don't have to limit this just to Halloween. You can use this technique to add pops of color whenever you want to. And the great thing about it is how customizable it is. You can make pretty much any color that you want and you can use whatever styling gel that you like the best but you might have to adjust the consistency slightly. I think it's super fun and you can get really creative with it, so make sure to tell me in the comments if you try this out. As always, I have the products that I used linked in the description. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you don't wanna miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Remember to love yourself fully and faithfully, and I'll see you next time.